Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to talk about wastegate springs. If you're not using a boost controller, your spring pressure will be your boost pressure. So if you have a 10 pound spring, your system's going to make 10 PSI. Generally, with the addition of a boost controller, you can double the spring pressure. So if you have a 10 pound spring, you can make 20 PSI or thereabouts. So as an example, if you have an Evo on E85 and you'd like to, like to run 30 PSI, you're going to start off with a 15 pound spring. If you're using a tile MBR or MBS, it will come without any springs loaded in the gate, but all springs are included in the box. So you can go on their website or our website and see the spring chart and load the correct springs into the gate. It's worth noting that when you reassemble the gate with the spring pressure you want to run that you do not pinch this diaphragm. If you get this diaphragm loaded between the hat and the body of the gate, it's not going to work correctly. Also, the seat which seals the valve to the flange needs to be in place. It is taped in from tile from the factory, but it is loose. So make sure that when you're putting this in, it's, it's in place before you put the flange on because if not, you're gonna have a pretty lazy turbo. We have all the colors in stock and ready to ship today. And remember, for free tech support, tech tips, and exclusive offers, click to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook.